Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Chronos006, and we're back with more of Let's Play of Harvester. We are on day five. We've done a few of these tricks now, and I've probably got... I think he said I have one more to do. So let's see what it is. But first, let's talk to good old mom. Hello, dear. How are you today? Fine. Did you hear what happened at the barbershop? Someone broke into Pastorelli's salon and took his antique barber's pole. No! The next morning, Pastorelli touched some live wires that the thief left lying around and was electrocuted. Shocking! Well, that darn foreigner got what he deserved, if you ask me. Coming into a nice little town like Harvest and stealing business. Heavens, if a bowl and scissors were good enough for your father, I don't see why decent working folk need a fancy wop styling their hair. Wop? That's how it goes. First you get a sissy wow. trim, then bang! You're a communist. Isn't it exciting, Steve? Five days and 1,200 cookies later, the bake sale is already here. Where does the time fly? Those 1,200 cookies. How many are you taking to the sale? Oh, about 20. The rest were stale. But the effort wasn't wasted. It's for a good cause. Will you be at the school tonight? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. That's nice, dear. It's good to be open to new experiences. Don't you think it's odd, having a bake sale to pay for burying out-of-towners? Gosh, a hooties, what should we do, leave them in the streets? Of course we should bury them. But why do so many out-of-towners drop dead in harvest? Good question! I have wondered about that, and I think it has something to do with the air. But there's nothing wrong with the air, it's perfectly clean! That's what I mean. Big city folk, they get so used to smog that clean air is a shock to their systems. Gets them every time. I'm not buying it. Don't forget to put the papers out. I don't think I ever noticed that cabinet before. I wonder what's in there. Cabinet that smells of dirty diapers. Leave me alone, will ya? This is the good part. I actually had a commenter suggest to me that I might get an autographed picture of Range Rider to this kid Finally. sometime. Maybe I'll do that today, see what happens. Let's get a paper. You know how Jimmy gets. Hey, Steve, you've been doing a swell job. Blah, blah, blah. Damn it, what's... I just gave... whatever. Hmm. Oh my, who did this? Oh my! I hope he's not dead. He looks like he may be dead. <laughs> Think about taking some These guys don't water. seem to care. I found Pastorelli this morning after he stepped in the water with the live wire. Yeah, he's dead, out. all right. His body was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together, and the sheep was well done, too. Problem is, both was burnt so bad, and the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melded. You couldn't tell them apart. And well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. No, sir, I didn't. I think that was an attempt at a joke, but it went over me. Nice to see you. I can't talk now. I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. The alarm system triggered the sprinkler. There was water on the floor this morning, and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zap! Maybe them aliens is hot for colored glass after all. Yeah, Anytime, Steve. Nothing much to see here, I guess, except for the scene of the crime. Oh well. Well, now I do feel bad. Because my harmless trick was not so harmless. Did I ever give him the pole? No, I didn't. 
And here it is, the object doll. Imported Venetian glass and Italian dreams. You have done well. An unfortunate side effect that Pastorelli was electrocuted because you left live wires in a puddle on the floor. But as those with affectations of worldliness say, say la vie. Pastorelli's own incompetence caused his unfortunate accident. What does it matter that you left live electrical wires hanging in the water on the floor? If he hadn't cross-wired the alarm system to the sprinklers, he'd be alive today. Of course, you only wanted the ball, but that hardly matters now. Yeah, Your it does. My final assignment is to set a fire in DNA's diner and let the French fry where they may. Yes, I suggest you succeed. Beyond that, you must find your own answers. Members of the Order must be resourceful and cunning. So must you be to become one with them. Tonight, the bake sale commences. Soon, the annual harvest blood drive will be at hand. When sacrifice will be the order of the day, your time in harvest grows short. Okay, so let's get to work. Couple places I suppose I can check right off the bat. One would be Potsdam's place. Did you say hello? Thank you know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh well. Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. Word travels around this little town fast, doesn't it? I'm glad to see you. I feel so alone, cooped up in here. I understand that bake sale is today. Yeah, you'd think it was the second coming the way everyone is acting around here. It's insane. The maniacal attention paid to this bake sale. Like all the women in Harvest came from the same cookie cutter. It's unnatural, unhealthy, almost a parody of how things should be. And through my window at night, I see my mother throwing out whole batches of cookies, like an automaton getting rid of its surplus product. My so-called mother has been baking cookies all week and then throwing them out. Better that than getting rid of us. Wait around long enough. I have a feeling they'll get to it. Me too. I don't know if you heard or not. But Mr. Pastorelli, oh, the barber, I heard. he's dead. Looks like somebody stole a barber's pole from him, then left the exposed electrical wires and some water on the floor. Pastorelli walked in, flipped on the lights, and... Know anything about that? Oh, my God! Steve, that was no little prank! A man died! It was an accident. I forgot about the live wires in the water. That doesn't change the fact that you killed him. This initiation killed him. It was just an accident. An accident which wouldn't have happened if not for the Lodge. Don't you see? I'm beginning to think that the Lodge poisons everything it touches. Harvest. Even you. I didn't create this situation. Are you sure? No. But however it started, I'm going to see it through to the end. Vandalism? Theft? Manslaughter? What's next, Steve? Murder? Look, I know in the beginning I suggested you might check out the Lodge. I was more worried about getting out of here than anything else. But now that I know you, I'm worried about you too. I'm fine. A man is dead because of you. How can you be fine? You've got to stop this. Tell me. Is anything positive going to come out of this lodge initiation crap? Yeah, or escape, hopefully. I just, it just love seems that facial to me that expression. This order of yours is getting you in deeper and deeper trouble. 
They can't make me do anything I don't want to do. No. But maybe when it's all said and done, you'll want to do anything. You've got to trust me. Come back and visit me soon. Well, they said I should show these to her. Are you making some kind of point? I guess not. I've gotten everything from this house that I can think of, except I should probably talk to her again. Hello, dear. Come to see Stephanie, have you? Why then, whatever are you here for? I'm busy making cookies for the bake sale. The bake sale is tonight, 7 o'clock at the school. Lots of cookies and yards of floss. Hope to see you there. This charity bake sale, what is it supposed to benefit? Oh, I just like talking about gruesome subjects. When you get right down to it, all charity is pretty ugly, isn't it? I don't follow. Ask Mr. Moynihan. He's organized this event in conjunction with the lodge, naturally. Naturally. Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's Give my regards to your parents. All right, why don't I go and talk to Moynihan? See what he knows. Good idea, Ms. P. Good idea. Young man, we really have nothing to say to each other. You know, I seem to have misplaced a ledger. How strange. Except for Mr. Potsdam on Tuesday night, that is. I can't imagine what else could have happened to it. Perhaps the dead walk again and they're hungry for literature. At any rate, should any of them show those ledgers around, they'll wish they'd stayed in their graves. I do hope you'll attend the bake sale and spend heavily. Ugh, that grin. It's for the needy, you Evil. know. Sure. And all they have to do to benefit is die. A ditch makes a poor resting place. You'll need to learn that. If you ever want to leave Harvest. You make it sound like I have a choice. A choice that is rapidly vanishing. So you say. So everybody keeps telling me. Oh, come on, I type bake sale. This bake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA and the Order of the Harvest Moon. The proceeds will be used to set up a fund for transients. In other words, bums and societal rejects without families who wander into Harvest uninvited. Then the Order is setting up shelters for the homeless? Not shelters. Graves. You see a great number of these hobos die while passing through. Don't ask me why, it's what those people do. Use your common sense, Stephen, memory or no. If they were involved in setting up homeless shelters, then why would I be involved? And why would I be sustaining losses? It seems that, like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest to die. They simply drop dead, penniless, and they all need burials. Like that corpse in the chapel, all dressed up and nowhere to go. No mourners, no point. But I still must provide them with prompt burials by town charter and absorb the losses myself. God knows by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? My losses to the dead are substantial. Hopefully the bake sale will offset some of them. I just hate those noises. As owner of the only hotel in town, I do my best to accommodate any hobo who straggles into town, vacancies permitting. I really don't recall. We get so many low-life dregs passing through here, I can't remember every little death that occurs. Huh. Are there that many? As I said... Sliced open on a mortician's slab, every corpse looks the same. Red. And juicy. 
But surely you'd remember if these deaths were an unusual occurrence. You sound like you're launching some sort of investigation, Stephen. That would be most unwise. A waste of time. Just like that corpse out in the chapel, the John Doe. There was no foul play involved. He just dropped dead. Another broken bum. And another of my losses. The corpse reclining in the chapel right now is a prime example of the difficulties I face. For unfathomable reasons, this bum decided to wander into harvest and summarily drop dead. Just like that? Indeed. He died of purely natural causes. Of that I have no doubt. But why come to harvest no to doubt. die? You say this happens often. Isn't that a little too much of a coincidence? I've often puzzled over the situation myself. Though I can assure you, young man, that nothing untoward is happening in Harvest. On the contrary, it's an indication of our compassion that I put up hobos in the Wayward Hotel, and the Order of the Harvest Moon mandates their prompt burial, even when they are without family or means, and when it entails losses on my part. I'd say it's been a pleasure. Let's go check out this corpse. Okay. Oh, okay. It's in here. A young man lies motionless in the casket. Red stains are visible on his shirt and boots. And we're back. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that everything was still recording. I hope... I hope that that corpse wasn't important, like I was saying, because for some reason my game here just crashed. I couldn't see that video at all. There was just all kinds of garbage all over the screen, so... I suppose we'll see whether it was important or not. I still can't go in the fire station. <laughs> How about the police station? Boy, the way you keep pestering me, looks like we've got us a mini crime wave on our hands. Just got a report about another act of vandalism. Maybe related to the Tucker incident and the fire station robbery. Someone broke into Pastorelli's barbershop and took his pole. Next morning, Pastorelli touched some live electrical wires that were left dangling and zap. No more barber. What was just an act of vandalism has just become a case of manslaughter. I don't like it. Harvest used to be such a nice little town. Stop on by any time, Steve. Well, nothing new there. We do know that there's going to be the bake sale, so why don't we check out the school? Seeing you here again, my breast just swells with pride whenever I think about the PTA's valuable service in this community. Hope to see you at the bake sale tonight. When I went to get my hair trimmed this morning, imagine my surprise when I learned that the barbershop had been burglarized. And worse, that Mr. Pastorelli had been electrocuted. Harvest mourns the loss of an irreplaceable citizen. All of us will feel the loss only with the passage of time. Oops, she just lost me. Nope. Drop in again. Adult quality time. Nothing really here. Stephen, I'm glad that dis- Remember, Stephen, tonight is the PTA bake sale. You'll be there, won't you? That's good. I hope to see you there. I really do. Stop by any time, Stephen. No, thanks. Not unless I have to. Diner? I 
I can't talk now. The dish I've whipped up a huge batch of brownies for the PTA bake sale tonight. I just wish I could do more to help out those poor bums. Most of the bums that die in harvest lack the money for a good Christian burial. The proceeds from this sale will help Mr. Moynihan provide them with proper burial services. Doesn't it strike you as funny that so many wanderers die in harvest? No, it strikes me as sad. You have an odd sense of humor, Steve. Mr. Pastorelli was electrocuted. He's dead. It looks like some thief wanted his barber's pole but didn't think of the consequences. Maybe it's what the guy had to do. Maybe whoever it was really needed that barber's pole bad. That's no excuse for hurting someone else. Even if Pastorelli were alive now, his heart would be broken. And what's a little profit compared to that? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nothing else in this stupid little drawer. Huh. So the grease fryer, that might be a way to start a fire later. So I've done a lot of wandering around just now, and so I got stuck again. Turns out I'm supposed to take a picture of this uh, casket, this little corpse. So I'm going to do that. Again, I don't know how I was supposed to know to do that, especially when I can't see what the body is. Maybe now I can actually look at the body. Oh, okay, I get it. So yeah, you have to take pictures of the fact that it looks like it was foul play for sure. So that was what I was supposed to see. So if I had seen that, I might have known to take the picture. So in this case, I don't feel guilty for using a walkthrough. Young man, we really have... I'd say... Now I might actually be able to get that glue. You can't have that, Steven. I need it for my work. And may I say you're a rude young man for attempting to steal it. I was only going to borrow it. Indeed. And have you anything I could hold as security? About the fact that you lied to me about that corpse in the other room. John Doe? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. If he just dropped dead, where did all those slashes come from? I don't know what slashes you're referring to. They were there. Do you have any proof of these wild claims? Any tangible evidence? If not, I suggest you leave me to my work. Oh, but I do. I'd say... Ah, you've taken up photography, I see. Now why on earth would you choose such a grotesque subject? That John Doe you've got boxed up in the chapel? He didn't just drop dead. Someone helped him take the plunge. Hmm. You may be right. I'm a mortician, not a medical examiner. You don't have to be to know that being ripped to shreds can be detrimental to your health. This is not something you want to be looking into, young man. That's what we all want. What game are you people playing? A game we win or lose together. Look, are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do I go to the sheriff with these pictures? That would be a grave mistake, I assure you. I've told you all I can. My losses have been substantial of late, so I can't offer you money. The only thing I can give you in exchange for the photographs is my tube of astro glue. I do suggest you take it, for it's all you'll get from me. A wise decision. When a wasp's nest is stirred up, it is seldom the wasps who grieve later. Well, I'll take that for now. I've been wanting to get that glue for a while. Oh, that was a quick day. Nightfall descends upon harvest. Well, it's time for the bake sale. Or 
are not. I thought the bake sale was tonight. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's just make the music as creepy as possible. Buy some cookies? Yeah. It's for a good cause. Mercy, what a terrible thing to say, isn't it, ladies? Yes, terrible. Stepford Wives. Hello, Steve. Derelicts and bums who wander into town who don't have enough money for a decent burial. They deserve to be buried. It's the Christian thing to do. That's awful nice of you. But why do so many derelicts and bums die in Harvest? Don't be such a wise apple, Steve. You always were a kidder, Steve. What a good boy you are. Have a cookie. Why, I never! Isn't that right, ladies? Yes. Never. Ladies! Someone has just burned down the TV station! I didn't do it! I swear! That I didn't do. How do I get out of here? There we go. That's the post office guy. TV station is closed. <laughs> I'd say the TV station is closed permanently. Well, there doesn't seem to be much I can do about this. Suppose we go to Edna's diner. Suppose I should do my same trick that I used on the door the other night. I've had a puzzle like that in other adventure games. That's the only reason I knew how to do this. Turn on the grease fryer. Can I just walk out? Is that all I need to do? Just leave? No. I have matches. Nah, if I just if I just alight it, the smoke alarm's gonna go off. I gotta do something about that. Well, that didn't work. Damn it! Well, that didn't work. No, oh, let's see what happens if I just light it. One major detriment to the art of arson is to make sure no fire alarms are functional. <laughs> Deterrent, sorry. Oops. If I recall, that's my third strike. So I imagine I'm about to get fried again. This is your second arrest. You just remember, one more strike and you're out. No, that's only my second one, I forgot. Damn it. Oh man. Okay. 
Ew. Well, the problem is I'm still stuck in here, so I kind of don't want to have this happen. So let's load back and try that again, shall we? Oh man. Oh man. Okay, so the fryer is on. I can turn that on. That's easy. I gotta do something about that smoke alarm. I can't seem to break it. Okay. Can I cover it up? I have a cake cover. Oh man. No. Well, that didn't work. Oh, wait a minute. I bet I know. You apply the glue to the rim of the cake cover. Got it. Right there. I'm gonna save again just to be safe. <laughs> and now let's try to set it on fire. Yeah. There we go. I've lit a fire. Now don't kill anybody this time. Yep. <laughs> what happens if I walk in? Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> oh, we have fun on this channel, don't we, folks? Yeah. With Edna's diner ablaze, your task is complete. You carefully make your way home to avoid any possible witnesses. And he has witnessed my handiwork. And I suppose tomorrow I'll be able to get into the lodge. Skip this. And we are at day six. Whoops. Wish I could delete all these saves instead of having to save over it. Can get confusing. Let's see what mom thought about all that. Hello, dear. How are you today? Why are you still making the cookies? Of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our bake sale. I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. Coincidence? I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a comet. <gasps> oh, no! Steve, I'm so scared. You look scared. Now that the bake sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so... useless. Mom! <laughs> Goodness. What's wrong with her? Ah! Oh my goodness. God. Oh, it's not as bad as it looks. You just pop them back in. Oh. Oh, God. See? Jesus. As good as new, that tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was, feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. This is a sign, Steve. I have a purpose again. <sighs> Glad to see you're feeling better. Mind, that fire still burns my britches. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then W-H-A-R. I sense a pattern. And any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn good. I suppose you heard about DNA's diner burning down. Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. We took a black eye on the bake sale, but I'm sure the Harvest PTA annual blood drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about $200. Hardly enough to bury a dead horse. 
and definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Annual blood drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. Of course, Lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Hey, either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. We don't use needles. I'll bet you don't. Hank, that kid over by the television? Your little brother is homesick from school today, and I won't have you scaring him with- Is he really sick? Look at the show. I don't know. Honestly, skipping out of a charity affair. What's gotten into you? I don't know, damn it. That's what I'm telling you. Don't you dare use that language around me. Okay, I think I've talked about these things before. Don't forget to put the pay. <sighs> what is it now? Hank? What? Why are you sitting in front of that blank TV? Someone burnt down the TV channel. There's nothing on. Nothing on. Honestly, Hank, you're acting like an alcoholic. I told you all that TV would hurt you. Watching TV don't hurt me, Mom. But not watching TV hurts bad. If I find out who burnt down the TV station, I'll make him wish he was one of those damn Indians. Good. Finally. Then why is it flashing light on him? Tisk tisk. Gotta pay attention to those details, game designers. Those pesky details. Here's your damn paper. Now go away. Hey, Steve. Okay. So, straight to the lodge then. TNA's diner is no more. Oh, no. Herself. She hung herself. Oh, as my God. Soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment. A true entrepreneur and a credit to her nation. That's awesome. Come now. Anyone who spoke with her for five minutes would have known what a tragedy the destruction of her diner would be. Still, you sought to torture diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. I had a feeling your about that. Initiation into the mysteries of the harvest will soon begin. In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize this sign. You will know when you receive the invitation. Bring it here, and your initiation shall begin. T N. Her suicide was an unforeseen but still. The yeah. Okay, so I think that's a good enough place to stop for now. I'd like to think we're getting through this game, hopefully quickly, because this game is just too screwy. <laughs> Alright, well thanks everyone for watching, my name is Chronos006, and I will see you later. Take care.